In this video, I'm turning your submitted drawings into realistic adaptations. Cute things, terrifying things, nothing is too crazy here. Fasten your seatbelts and then let's get straight into it. Started with a rough sketch, textures and backgrounds and lights that I must fetch. I'm feeling this vibe, shadows and lights start to bring it alive. Yo, it's time to cut it up and I can't believe my eyes. This is what I call for your list of five. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season 2 of Realistify, the series in which I turn your drawings realistic. For today, we have some crazy drawings. Not all of them are in medieval style, but that's more of a guideline anyway, so it's gonna be really cool. If you wanna send yours for the next episode, make sure to send them to bennyseditshow at gmail.com, subscribe, and most importantly, hit the bell to stay notified about future videos at all times. Now let's get into the first drawing for today, which was sent in by Torda. Hi, I've been watching your videos for a long time and I hope you can do this picture just like any other job. I will try my best. I absolutely love this one, crazy potential there, so uh, let's open up Photoshop and get started. This is by far the most exciting drawing I've seen in a while, so let's just go. First, I'm gonna drag this sort of right here as a base for the C. Although first, I'm actually gonna make a blue base plane, quite dark, something like that. That is beautiful. Then let's actually start with the submarine. I'm gonna sort of trace the shape but make it a little more accurate and symmetrical. Something like this should be about it. Then to that one, I'm gonna add some textures like I always do and it is gonna be metal. Something like that should do it. And then obviously the same thing on the other side. That is looking very nice. Then let's add some shadows to it because that is the most important thing by far. And the light is clearly coming from there. So let's just make a nice shadow below it. There you go. And I also think it's a pretty good idea to make some sort of ambient shadow on the edges. Very nice. Then we are going to need some blue on this guy and a simple highlight wouldn't hurt either. Then the windows. Let's go and do something like this. I'm gonna try to find the best balance between the drawing and my shape. Something like this should be pretty good. And then we just need to split it. There you go. Two beautiful windows. It's a little different than the original one but the idea is the same. And that's what it's really all about. It does actually need to look like glass and I have no idea how to do that. See that is actually looking pretty cool. And some more shadows around them maybe. We can even add a slight texture to it. Just nice and subtle. And for this tube at the top I'm thinking this would actually maybe sort of work. Right there. We don't need the top area because for that I have another one. That actually works. Then we shall make that a little darker and desaturate the top area. And to finish it up some shadows again. All the way down here. And of course a shadow on the submarine itself. I also found a beautiful hatch for right about up here. Something like that should do it. And then it's it's just the same shadows again. How about we put some of these screws all over the edges? And that doesn't even look bad. For that thing at the back, we can probably just also use these. I feel like this is pretty close. Then we can extend it a little bit. Maybe we can use this part and put it right on top of this. I mean, it does make it a lot more detailed. And a nice shadow in here and on the back side a little bit. This is starting to look real nice. Finally, some highlights up here and then I think we're pretty much all set. That is beautiful. Let's move on with the rest of this composition because there are still quite a lot to do. I found this really cool 3D model on Envato Elements and I think that this bit could actually be perfect for his head right there. Also these spikes, I think I'm just gonna leave those on there, it's pretty cool. And we put it right on there. Also this requires a bit of warping again. And actually for the lower jaw, this one looks pretty good as well. And there you go, fading out the edges a little bit. Then let's also just take this guy's eye and put it on the same spot. And then I erase the edges and it should be merged all together. And then let's go and add the first series of shadows because there's gonna be quite some of them. Most of it back here. That is already starting to look a little better. And then there is a whole lot of tension around this guy and since a lot of them are covering up this guy we don't really need to put much effort in that so let's first actually just 
make these tentacles. As you can see here, I have a bunch of tentacles that I can use. So let's go and use them. And I already know this is going to be a lot of warping. Actually, for this, Puppet Warp is the best choice. So let's see. This one is going to go there. This is such a powerful tool, honestly. I'm also going to add some random ones that aren't on the drawing because the more the merrier. I'll probably add some more, but first I'm going to start with these. It's a bit of a mess, I know, but uh, hopefully we can fix that. Now let's do something about that color. We gotta make them nice and blue. And of course, shadows again. Who would have thought? If this is gonna be as cool as I think it is, it's gonna be very cool. <laughs> so that I now have to do to every tentacle in three, two, one. Okay, okay, looking pretty cool. What does that look like with the submarine there? Oh, this is gonna be super badass. Let's add some, what I like to call underwater mist to create some depth because obviously underwater it's a little bit more vague and you know blurry and, and just this way it's pretty easy to get a lot of depth in your image. I <laughs> get it? Depth because it's in the sea. Ooh, I love it. Let's put a nice highlight here. And then I think we should just make a lot more tentacles. Because this is cool, but I feel like it's a bit shy. Also, we should probably make the inside of this guy's mouth. And later on, of course, the teeth as well. But first, just this. Now, look at that. Those are a whole bunch of tentacles. Look at how badass this is. I am starting to like Puppet Warp. For my version, though, I'm going to make it a little smaller because I don't want it touching the thing right there. So let's just put it something like some more shadows on there as well and of course we cannot forget about his teeth either and you guys know how much i love doing teeth and again some more shadows i mean at this point it's really just all the same that is looking pretty cool now it's time for some post processing as i like to call it see just something like this nice and subtle i think that always looks pretty cool and some more of this hay stuff just all over the place let's also make those nice lights then we can even make some light rays very nice Ooh, that does look nice you know what i think i think it's time to add a camera raw filter because it's been long enough hopefully this will make it look even better and there you go i'm pretty sure this is about it i really have no idea what else to add so uh yeah back to the studio And there you go, this is what I like to call myths of the deep. I don't think I've ever made something of the sort, it's uh, pretty cool. Now for a bit of a more medieval theme, the next drawing was sent by APGFX. You can use this art for your realistified video. You're free to do whatever with this sketch. And if possible, add glow as given in the image. Let's try and breathe some life into this guy. So there we are for the second draw. Yeah, no, it's only one solution for this. Right. I don't even think that's much better. Oh, well, nobody cares. Let's uh, first trace the shape of the helmet. No way. Actually, let's first drag this one in and try to warp that. This bit goes up a little bit. See, we don't even need to trace the shape. This is perfect. Perfect is maybe a bit of a big word, but uh, then I got to sort of cover up this area because this thing is way too high. And then we can just grab this and put it right on top top of it something like that i think and then i just get to warp it so it matches the shape easy as that like that very nice it isn't very smooth but it's good enough for now look at that that's art looking pretty good right there of course we can't forget about these shapes there you go nice shape then i will flip it to the other side and there you go if we make that darker then hopefully that will be some sort of 3d edge I guess I may as well do the horns manually. Something like this. And some shadows again. Magnificent. We flip it to the other side and then there's the helmet. This armor piece right here I can easily use for his armor. So once again, let's go and use some more warp. Honestly, dude. Fantastic. And let's erase some stuff we don't need. And then this is what we're gonna have to do for all the armor pieces. So let's go and grab this one. We can put that probably somewhere here. Heck, maybe we can even do it to the entire mid armor piece. Mid armor, really? Chest plate. That's it. Maybe we have to warp it a little, but it's not like we haven't done that before. Pretty sure this arm will fit perfectly. And then I can put it right about down here. I feel like this is 
good enough. <laughs> then there's these little blocks on the sides that hold the spikes on them. I'm just gonna trace all the remaining shapes to later fill them with textures. And once again, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Fantastic. And we're back to doing shadows again. This is quite possibly the most boring one I've ever done. And more shadows. And more shadows. And more shadows. Finally starting to look like something. That took a while. I can also make the armor black. Something like this. See, that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna do that. That is seriously badass. Look at that. Then it's just a chest plate. Totally didn't forget about these horns. I think the night part is finally finally done. Then we just need the sword, which is not at all gonna be similar to the drawings. And let's add some final shadows. And then I think that should be pretty good. The submitter also included a map of all the glowing areas he would like to glow, so let's go do those. First of all, all the horns, which actually makes sense. So let's start by making them a little brighter. Same goes for these. That's maybe a bit too vibrant. And then let's add a very subtle, simple glow to them. And I probably want to add some yellowish orange stuff in the middle. Of course, glows come with highlights, so let's go and make some uh, red orange colored highlights here and there. Same for these areas. We should also put some mist behind him, a bit right here in the background. And the eyes also have to glow, so uh, let's make a nice glow just like that and then we can add some brightness with exposure something like that there you go and then some actual glow on top of it i don't know about you guys but i think this looks pretty sick let's do the same thing for the sword Ooh, and down here we can put some of these very subtle spark thingies. I think it's time to try and add a camera raw filter because I've seen enough of this to be completely honest. Although I'm pretty sure this is going to make it a lot better. And there you go. That is most definitely much better. I'm pretty sure that's it. So uh, back to the studio. Very nice. I wouldn't say this is my best work, but it's definitely nice for a change. Then, like we usually did, the third drawing for today is a speed edit segment, which was sent in by Hannah. I love your videos. You have some serious editing skills. It would be awesome to see you try make this dragon of mine look like it would belong in this world. I agree, that would be pretty cool. So, uh, let's go and edit this one.
very, very nice. This one turned out a little different than I thought it would, but uh, it's it's refreshing for sure. Especially the colors turned out completely different than I thought. So these are the drawings I did today. If you want to send yours, make sure to send them to bennyseditshow at gmail.com, which by the way is not my business email. Keep that in mind. Then I guess that is it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very free to subscribe and also hit the bell to make sure you don't miss a single video. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.